Welcome to our if function series. In this tutorial, we are looking at if function with multiple conditions. And we've got two examples to work with in this tutorial. So this is the first example and this is the second example. In the first example, we've got instruction from the management down here, which says, regardless of the years of experience, only employees with excellence performance rating are eligible to bonus. Hmm. Good performance rating should be under review and others not eligible. Oh, so let's get started. Our bonus column is this column J here. Our performance rating column is column F, as you can see it there. So let's get started. So equal to if. So we say if if three is equal to excellence. Remember, it's a text. If F three is excellent, I want it to be eligible. So eligible is a text, we use the quotation marks for it. So now you see if F3 is excellent, eligible, and now the system is saying, okay, what if it's not eligible, what next? This is where the second condition comes in. So you still use your if function to bring in the second condition. So if, remember, we're still using the F, we're still using our column F, so we still click on it. So now we say if F3 is equal to good, if F3 is equal to good, impute under review according to management review. Then we close that and we put in the comma again. As you can see, now we have value if false. So let's check if we are correct with what management said. So if F3 is excellent, please impute eligible for the staff and if not, if it's good, impute under review. And if not, she impute not eligible. Remember, you're not eligible is text, so it should be enclosed. So we close that and we close the bracket. So we are done. So we close the bracket, the first bracket and the second bracket. So the first bracket covers this if here, yeah, this if function here, yeah, and the second bracket covers the first bracket here. And let's tap enter and see. You can see, regardless of the, the years of experience here, we have an eligible. So, to autofill this, just double click on this box here. As you can see, let's expand that. You can see once it's good, it's under review. If it's average, it's not eligible. So, that is how you add multiple um, conditions. You can add more. So, when you get here, where you have value if false if you have more conditions you just keep adding your if function to get to the end so let's move into our second example in our second example you get to see us use five conditions yes because of the instruction so this is a school grading system that says when the score the test score is greater or equal to 70 should be equal to a when the test score is between 60 to 69 should be b 50 to 59 c 40 to 49 d and 39 and below fail uh oh so let's get started so equal to we start with our if function so if our test score is in our column l if l3 is greater or equal to so our first condition here is 70, so we impute 70. So it's a number, you don't need to enclose that. So if L3 is greater or equal to 70, what did the school say? A. So our A is a text, is an alphabet, so we enclose it. Comma, remember, instead of doing value if false, we have multiple conditions. We just add another if function there. So if same thing, if L3 now is if it's greater or equal to 60. So if it's greater or equal to 60, impute B. Remember B is an alphabet, so we enclose it. And thereafter we have more conditions to go. So we impute when we get to value if false, you put another if function there. I must say here that there's another way to do this, which we are going to discuss in the next tutorial. So if 
that is greater or equal to 50 now impute c for us so we've gotten to the value if false here we'll put in the next if um i think by this time if you've not subscribed like please do so so that you can get notified when we do the simpler method on the next tutorial so if um what are we doing now 40 to 90 if l3 is greater greater or equal to 40 impute for us t So there is no need to put an if function here because we are on the last condition. So we just put fail. And we enclose that. We close the first bracket. Close the second one, third one, fourth one, and we are good. So let's confirm. This bracket covers this. This closing bracket covers this one. The third one, this one, and the fourth one, this. You close the bracket until you no longer see the formula, um, should assistant from Excel. As you can see, let me remove this back one so that you see. So as you can see, as I took out one bracket there, you can still see the assistant from Excel. So let's close it. That is where you know that you've closed all the brackets. I hope that makes sense. So let's tap enter. So you see now we have 85, which is above 70. It's A. Let's also fill that by the clicking here. You can see here we have 35. We have fill. Here we have 25. We have fill. I hope that makes sense. If you need to go back, please go back and just look at it. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section. I'll do well to reply you. And please like, share, and subscribe. See you in our next tutorial. Bye.